Hello there folks and welcome back. Today we're reviewing these Vortex Fury 5000 AB range finding binoculars. Now these can range reflective objects from 5 to 5000 yards, trees from 5 to 2400 yards, and range deer from 5 to 1600 yards. Now, I haven't quite tested that out 100% as far as the tree is concerned or to the max 5,000 yards. But I can tell you while I've been elk hunting, I've been testing these out, putting them through the paces and beating them down pretty good. And I got to tell you, I can freestand. That's freestanding, no tripod, no rest, not grabbing even the brim of my hat, just like this, and range to 2,640 yards. Granite conditions were good but still very, very impressive. These things have absolutely no problems ranging to extremely long distances. Now, the uh, Vortex Fury 5000 and the Fury 5000 AB, the AB stands for Applied Ballistics Program, which this is the AB version. The other version does not have a ballistics program or computer built within it, so it cannot compute uh, ballistic drop tables for you or tell you how much drop to dial into your scope. However, if they are a little bit lighter without the AB, without the ballistics computer in them. These do have the ballistics computer in them. And so let's get started. On this side right here is your range button. T push that down, touch it. It's going to give you your range. Hold it down. It's going to allow you to scan ranges. These two arrow keys are for your menu selections and also for your wind input because yes, you can input your wind. On this side is your applied ballistics button to set it um, and use the applied ballistics programming and ballistics computer within. And then this right here is your menu button. Now, these are 10 by 42s, both the 5000 and the 5000 AB come in, uh, excuse me, 10 by 42. That means it's 10 power, 10 times your vision um, by 42 millimeter objective. Um, it has 16 millimeter eye relief, uh, 4.2 millimeter exit pupil, which is very good even in low light. Anything over four I consider pretty good. 321 feet of view at 1,000 yards, 6.1 degree uh, angle. That's your angular field of view. The close focus is 18.5 feet. Interpupillary distance is 58 to 72 millimeters. Height is 5.8 inches, so not too tall. Um, but they are a bit beefy. They're 5 inches wide, and they weigh 32.4 ounces. So pretty hefty and heavy. So keep that in mind. If you want something a little bit lighter with range finding capabilities, but without the ballistic uh, calculator, get the F Fury 5000, not the Fury 5000 AB. Um, however, if you want that, just be aware it's going to cost you some in weight. Now, these have a very nice high quality metal construction underneath, extremely durable. Then they have this all rubberized outer coating that's easy to grip. A nice size magnific or excuse me, focus wheel. It's not too sensitive to where it's a pain to use, yet it's not um, so unsensitive that you have to wheel it around forever to get it to focus. It's also rubber with knurling. It's easy to grip has these nice adjustable eye cups. And these are actually, I swear these eye cups feel better than my Vortex Razor UHD binos that I'm also testing out and using in the field. And these were bought out of my own pocket. I was not paid for this or got these at a discounted rate. But these things are really nice and positive as well as they have this nice rubberized feel to them. And I really like these eye cups for whatever reason they feel better. Maybe they're the same ones, I don't know, but they feel better. On the right side here, you have your reticle focus knob. Um, it's easy to adjust, and that's to actually adjust the reticle for the range finding and ballistics computing readout, not your diopter. Your diopter on these is actually on the left side, and it actually works quite well, and it's stiff enough that it stays in place even though it's not locking. Comes with a neck lanyard. Also comes with the Vortex binocular um, pack, the front pack, it comes with all of that. Also comes with um, lens covers that are rubberized and a couple other accessories as well. Um, but I don't have any of those attached today. Like I said, these things are absolutely fantastic. Now, I would say that the only ones in the market that might be better in some ways are probably the um, SIG Kilo 10Ks. Um, those um, generally will cost you a little bit more 
but uh, they have a class three laser, so they can cut through fog, rain, sleet, and snow a little bit better um, than these. But these are so good that I have no complaints as of yet anyways, as far as them being able to range. Haven't run into any issues really to speak of. And it comes with the amazing, awesome Vortex VIP warranty as well and service. Now these do take a CR. Let's open this up right here. You can remove this. You flip out this little tab right here which I guess is a little bit more difficult when you're on camera than it is normally. Let's see if I can get this to flip out. Okay, you flip out this little tab, you unscrew this little threaded hole right here, and a CR123 battery, or excuse me, a CR2 battery fits in there and it does come with one. Um, and it runs for a very long time. I'm not sure on the operation hours, but hours, but I've been using it for a very long time. Another thing to note about this is the bridge distance. This distance, on these new pair is very stiff, but it works fine. I'm not really worried about being stiff, but one thing I noticed is because these are so like bulky, they have so much girth to them because of the range finding and ballistic capabilities that they're not quite as comfortable up to your eyes as far as bridge width. And they're a little bit tougher to get in that sweet spot than say the Vortex Razor UHDs. They're just kind of thick, bulky and girthy, but Overall, absolutely love these. The glass in these, now the important part, the glass. It's not Vortex Razor UHD glass. I have Vortex Razor UHD 10x42s and side by side, myself and others have tested them multiple times in low light, in foggy conditions, the UHD beat these every single time. You can definitely tell there is a glass difference. Um, they're not quite as sharp. They're not, the resolution's not quite as high. The light transmission isn't quite as good as the Vortex Razor UHDs, but those cost more than these. And they don't have the ballistics computing or range finding capability. So you're gonna give up a little bit in glass quality. However, the glass is still excellent. It's very, very, very good. Um, it's probably, I would say, guessing, it's probably around uh, Vortex Razor, or excuse me, Vortex um, Viper HD glass, right in there, Vortex Viper HD glass is probably similar to what's being used here. The lenses are fully multi-coated. This is fully waterproof, shockproof, and dustproof as well. And I do say I am quite happy with them thus far.